Uh, well, dancehall, just like rap music, which is uh, dominantly people of color, or should I say black people or African people music, is, you know, expressing the state of mind or the state of consciousness of the masses. So, it is, to me, it is a crying out. It is a crying out of our people because we are clearly physically free from slavery, but we are still mentally and even more so spiritually locked and trapped because we don't understand who we are. We, not, we don't understand our true power. We don't understand that we are worth more than just vanity. We are worth more than just sex. We are, we are so much more, you know, but colonization has really destroyed the self-esteem of our people and I'm not making excuses for my people but we have to be compassionate and we have to accept that this is the journey and we are going to be free from um, you know what holds us back and what holds us down but we have to make that conscious effort dancehall and rap music is poison music and it is promoted by the same evil system that has enslaved us because they know that those music are very powerful and very influential and it will keep our people dead. It will keep our people consciousness low and that is the mission. So, you know, that is, that is how I see the state of dancehall and as I say, our music, which is black people music, which is, the, you know, the expression of dance, the expression of rap, all of that is used to hold on the consciousness and the energy of our powerful, powerful people. And, you know, we, we have to transform it. We have to transform it and we have to stop surrendering to the love of vanity and the love of hype and the party vibes, we need to realize that the battle is not over. We still have much work to do and we need to honor our ancestors and the sacrifice that our ancestors made for us to be here today. We need to know that the journey have to continue. We have to carry on the works. The, you know, they made the foundation by, by allowing us to be free. So we no need to free up our spirituality and stop, make vanity confuse us and trap us.